Good morning everyone and happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to Center of Balanced Life. My name is Kenny, the acupuncturist and Chinese medicine practitioner from the Center of Balance. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about how to use acupressure points to help injury of middle back. If you are watching this, please give us a thumbs up, like and share our daily free for all DIY acupressure topic. Do you or do you know anyone who suffer from injury of middle back? If you do, please type 1. Right, as usual, let's get any of these two tools ready. Just one of them, of course. Um, one is your fingers. So it can be your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger. Okay. Two would be the knuckle if you just bend your index finger down and with your thumb underneath to support it. Three, a massage device or some small rounded tools, right? Like I'm using a chopsticks with the rounded head. So any of these three tools can be used to locate a sensitive point and you can apply pressure for 30 seconds. You rest for five seconds, then you apply the pressure at the same sensitive point again for 30 seconds, and then you release, rest for five seconds, and you repeat again. At, at least do it at least three times per point, and then you move on to the next sensitive point, so you repeat the same process for three times, and you can do this three to five times throughout the day. <clears throat> The thoracic spine starts beneath the neck and is comprised of 12 vertebrae from T1 to T12, also known as the upper back or middle back. Lower back is below T12. <clears throat> as we all know, thoracic spine is relatively immobile and is designed for stability to anchor the ribcage and most importantly to protect our vital internal organs within the chest. This reside between vertebrae. Spinal column protects the spinal cord. The spinal cord is the long bundle of nerves that allows the brain to communicate with the rest of the body. There are a number of um, bones, muscle, ligaments and discs in the spine that can irritate or injure the nerve causing back pain. Middle back pain mainly occur on can be occur on one side or over the entire mid back and of course the middle back is in the area between the vertebrae T8 to, to T12. So that's roughly aligned with your um, lower part of your scapula. Okay. Um, the lower angle of the scapula is about T7. So from T7 or T8 down to just about um, your to T12, that is the middle back. Um, of course, symptoms well depends on the cause of your pain. There are several different mid back pain symptoms, which may include the muscle tightness, stiffness, muscle achiness with dull sensation, or can be burning sensation, or some may experience sharp stabbing pain. Other serious symptoms may include tingling or numbness in the um, chest, arm and leg, chest discomfort or pain, um, arm or leg weakness, loss of bowel or bladder control. <clears throat> what causes the middle back pain as very general these days is the poor posture because with poor posture frequent pressure on the spine can result in the middle back pain because as we all know, the poor postures these days is the one of the most common um, problem. And with the back muscle and ligaments due to poor posture, they have to work extra hard to keep us balanced, keep us straight, and especially when we have a tendency to slouch. And overworking, overuse of these muscles can lead to achiness and middle back pain. Number two, the obesities. When the weight increases, the chances of back pain increases. <clears throat> Three, muscle sprain or strain. 
Sprains are the tearing or stretching of ligament. Strains are the tearing or stretching of the muscle and tendons. Um, if you're regularly lifting heavy, heavy things without proper form or um, doing those awkward sudden movement can easily cause sprain or strain of the back. <clears throat> Number four, herniated or slip disc. Herniated or slip disc can happen when the inner gel-like core of a disc in our back pushes against the outer cartilage ring, putting extra pressure on the nerve, result in pain, tingling, pins and needles, or numbness in the middle back and possible legs. Five, aging. The older a person is, the more likely they are to experience or injure their back. The aging process, obviously, because it wears on the body, including thinning of the bone, the reduction of the muscle mass, and fluid retention between the joint spine. <clears throat> Number six, osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease, and it occurs when the cartilage covering our joints break down, causing bone to rub together. Four or other injury. The middle back is least likely to experience in injury than the cervical spine, which is our neck and or our lower back lumbar spine. <clears throat> this is because this is more structural and rigid. However, it is still possible to injure our middle back. These injuries most often occur in the result of as a result of you know half fall, car accidents, sport incidents. Any sort of thoracic spine injury can happen to anyone. If you experience back pain after such an incident, contact your doctor immediately. <clears throat> fractures. Vertebrae fractures often occur following trauma. As we said before, it can be a fall, car accident, sports injury. Fractures are most likely in people with redu reduced bone density, such as people with osteo. <clears throat> um, fracture can cause severe back, middle back pain that gets worse if moved. If also experiencing incontinence, tingling or numbness, your fractures may impacting the spinal cord. The fractures or bone breaks can vary serious injury, injuries. Make sure you seek immediate treatment. <clears throat> so how can we care for ourselves at home? Obviously you rest. If your back hurts a lot, take a break and eventually move or get on with your daily activities slowly and carefully. Use a heating pad he can reduce pain and stiffness. <clears throat> Exercise or stretching can help to strengthen the muscle in our back, shoulders and core muscle which will help improve our posture also. Obviously we want to practice good posture. You be sure you stand straight, you sit tall, you stand tall. Don't slump or slouch. <clears throat> you learn ways to reduce your stress such as deep breathing, relaxing exercise such as yoga or meditation. <clears throat> Finally, what are the acupoints points you can help to help to improve or help to relieve the discomfort or pain of your middle back? <clears throat> so please don't forget to like and share and most importantly show us some love by giving us a thumbs up. And this is based on Dr. Tom Balance method and image theory. <clears throat> Urinary bladder channel is the main channel that crosses the back, <clears throat> and the base of the, um, and based on Dr. Tan method, we focus on using lung and small intestine to balance it. <clears throat> so, I'm sure, we um mentioned before the wrist is equal to our neck, <clears throat> and the elbow is equal to our lower back. So, if you stand up. Your elbow here is almost aligned with your belly button, and your belly button is your lumbar vertebrae too. <clears throat> so we're gonna turn uh, my arm upside down. Okay, so this will be the neck. This is our lower back. <clears throat> so from wrist to elbow, Chris, we're gonna find the midway between on our forearm. Okay, midway. My midway is about here. <clears throat> so midway. Okay. So once you find the um, mid crease, we're going to go four fingers down and four fingers up. Okay. 
we're going to start on the thumb side first which is the this is the lung channel okay midway about here four fingers up we're going to start from here okay within this mid forearm region which is you find the midline four fingers up and four fingers down you start from here thumb side we're going to palpate and locate the most sensitive points okay once you locate like i mentioned earlier you massage for 30 seconds you release and you rest for five seconds then you repeat the same process three times you before moving to the next point okay so just remember mid crease four fingers up four fingers down within this area you find the most sensitive points okay and we move on to our pinky side again within this mid forearm four fingers up four fingers down We will palpate and locate the most sensitive points, okay? And you massage for 30 seconds, count to 30 of course, you release, you rest for 5 seconds, and you go again, repeat the same process 3 times before we moving on to the next sensitive points, okay? Just remember, you want to massage all these sensitive points every day, and do it at least once a day, okay? Just find the midway of your forearm, place your four fingers there, and four fingers up above the midline, within this area, on the thumb side, and pinky side. This is where you're trying to locate the most sensitive points. So some of these points might not work for you. <clears throat> we do have a lot of questions or um, to ask and things to consider it. Um, we want to combine with your signs and symptoms. We ask questions about your appetite, your diet, your energy level, um, how your tongue looks like, how your pulse feels like. All these pieces of information could be trying to tell you and us how to bring your whole body back to balance. Hence, it is important for us to do an initial examination to come up with the best possible tailored care plan specific for you. So please don't hesitate to call us or email us info at balancedtcm.co.nz to book an appointment. My name is Kenny. That's all from me today. If you like or enjoy our daily life, please give us a thumbs up, like and share. And thank you for joining us. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Stay awesome.